A Vancouver drama teacher stands in front of a judge today accused of having a sexual relationship with a student. We're digging deeper tonight into this case, including what police say she did to hide the crime. At 5 o'clock, good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Ann State. 35-year-old Stephanie McRae was the drama teacher at Evergreen High School, but now she's facing witness tampering charges in addition to child rape charges. Well, court documents show she and a student had a sexual relationship since the beginning of December. Amy Frazier, looking into this case, live from the school now with more. Amy? The 15-year-old tells investigators they would meet in the teacher's office here at school where he says they would kiss before or after drama practice. And according to some new court documents, things then went much further. All right, Ms. McCray, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. Wearing handcuffs, 35-year-old drama teacher Stephanie McRae went before a Clark County judge. I was in theater in high school when she was my director. A court scene that feels surreal to some who know her. I'm just here to see what, what happened and to be supportive more of the students because I know the students are all extremely upset. And we found out today from prosecutors that McRae allegedly continued to have contact with the 15-year-old student she's accused of raping even after the investigation started and she was put on leave from Evergreen High School. She um, had made a contingency plan that she would, if they were ever contacted by law enforcement that they were to fake, create a fake Facebook page with aliases, which they did. Uh, she coached him on how to respond to law enforcement if he was contacted. We obtained these court documents and found out that the 15-year-old boy says he has been having a sexual relationship with his drama teacher since the beginning of December. The accusations include everything from kissing to sexual intercourse, including incidents at the teacher's home and in her office at Evergreen High School, where she's been a teacher for eight years. I've known her since seventh grade, and never once have I ever thought anything bad of her. I'm here to support her 110%, and that is all I will say. I've learned McRae has a child, and according to court documents, has been separated from her husband for a month. When she turned herself in on Tuesday, she reported to jail authorities that she has mental health issues from a car accident in 2012. She also reports that she attempted suicide two weeks ago. The Evergreen School District responded by email to our request for an on-camera interview. When asked what the district does to prevent abuse, a spokesperson says all all employees complete mandatory training on subjects including sexual misconduct. Now we have learned tonight that McCray has bailed out of jail. One of the conditions is that she doesn't have any contact with any minors except for her own child. She's scheduled to be back in court on February 11th. Reporting live in Vancouver, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News.